Hey, YouTube family. It's Miss Peaches Slivs coming at you with another video. Today, me and my family are planting some blueberry bushes. It's another new thing. We haven't done this before, but we're going to see how it goes. So I got some old pots that was at a rental property that we bought. We're going to use these. I read online that they do pretty good in terracotta pots. So we're going to see. Um, I'm going to take the mulch off and get rid of the dirt. As you can see over here, I've already done it with several other pots. Because according to my research, blueberries like acidic soil. So we mixed some compost and peat moss together to have some acidic soil. So that's, I don't know what's in this pot because it was a hand-me-down. So I'm going to get rid of the dirt in there and we're going to start over fresh. I'm going to save that mulch. I'm just going to dump this dirt in my flower, in my garden bed. We haven't started working it yet or anything, so we'll just work that dirt in. Shouldn't do too much harm. It's heavy. Okay, we got all the dirt out of here. Now we're gonna fill this pot about halfway with the mix of compost and peat moss. I'd say maybe 60% compost, 40% peat moss. I don't know, I kind of just winged it, wung it, I wung it. Anyway, we'll see if it works. We're just gonna backfill the pot with this mixture. You wanna use this shovel? Yeah. This, these blueberry bushes already have berries on them, which is great. When me and my husband bought them from the store that was four, we got to try and they tasted really good. There's several more that are starting to turn purple. And they are Hello Darling Ribeye <laughs> Blueberry Bushes by Southern Living. Apparently they're a good one to grow in the my zone, which is 7A, 8A. What's our zone? What's our zone? 8A? 8A. <clears throat> All right, we got about halfway full. I'm gonna put the pot in here. That's, that's pretty much a good amount of dirt. Blueberries don't like to be buried. Their stems don't like to be buried under the dirt because they rot easily. So you got to make sure that you keep it at the level, at or slightly above the level it was already at. So I'm going to put a little bit more, put a little bit more. All right, that's enough. Put this to the side. I'm going to keep that, put it in the pot so I know what kind of bush this is. All right, so we're just going to squeeze around the bottom, release the plant. Put that in there. All right. What have we been doing with these roots, baby? We've been separating them. Yeah, we've been. Because they're in a big ball. Yeah, so we've been separating the roots a little bit so that the plant will grow and the roots will spread out. They haven't really been too bad in these pots, but you can see a little bit of the roots wrapping around. So we're just gonna take those and loosen them up so that we put it in the pot. They won't continue to grow in that in that fashion, but they'll spread out. And then I saw a video where somebody said that you can cut it up the middle in half and spread the roots out, and that's supposed to help them to develop a stronger root system. I'm not gonna go that far, but I'm just gonna separate it and pull it apart a little bit in the bottom get the roots kind of spread out like that 
I mounded up the dirt a little bit in the middle and I'm gonna sit that right on top of the mound. That's pretty good. Now we're gonna fill in around the edges, tap it down and water it in. Mommy, can I stop the video? What's today, y'all? Monday. April, Monday, April 17th. Uh, I think so. And it's really warm out here today. It's a beautiful day. Son, do you want to come put some dirt in here? This is my dance. Uh, yeah. We need to get you some gloves. Yeah. Don't do that, cause it's gonna get in our eyes with the wind blows. Come over here closer to the pot. Like this. Uh -oh, be careful. Do like this. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Let him use the shovel. Ah, uh, okay. Be careful, don't go too fast, cause you'll spill the dirt. Okay. And even though it's dirt and it belongs on the ground, I paid for it. So I don't wanna waste it. My on the glass because they don't. Some dirt I actually like snapped thing when I was trying to pick it. Should I put some, some dirt, dirt in it too? Let it grow some more back. Yeah. Okay. What do y'all think about these blueberry bushes? Mm -hmm. I want to eat the blueberries on them. Yeah, when I they get ripe. But they're not too white. They're purple and blue. Y'all think we're going to make some jam out of them? No, I'm going to eat them all. Some blueberry. We're not going to make no And sand. the blueberries look oh, really purple, like green, red, orange, blue, blue, purple. Come on, regular jam. Yeah, they are it's colorful. Really good. You know what that means? Since they're different colors, like green and purple and pink, that means they're starting to ripen. So soon they're going to be purple and blue, so if we can eat them. You know who else is going to want to eat them when they start turning? Uh, bunny. Maybe bunnies, but that's not what I was thinking. Birds. Yeah, so you know what? We gotta get them before they do. Okay. So we can do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why, when I wake up, I'm gonna be washing outside? Since we have a window that's right over there, mm -hmm. then we can wash that. And if a bird's coming. All right. You kind of pat the dirt down a little bit. Make sure it's all in there good. Can I water it? I'm sure. Move back. Move back. I'll get wet. I want to get wet. I don't want your shoes to get wet. You have to wear those to school tomorrow. Well, they'll be dry when it's tomorrow. I know I'm not going to get a stick. I need to get a stick to make that up. I told her about me. I can get I'll a stick to wash my hands. I can get wear them tomorrow because I have people. Here's where they're going to start their beautiful lives in these terracotta pots here. We got four of them. I didn't realize that they produce more with cross-pollination, so I got four of the same ones, but eventually down the road, if we do good with these, we'll get some um, some different ones. They'll still have a yield. They'll just have, would have had more of a yield if I did a cross-pollination, but whatever the case, you live and you learn. But look, y'all, we already got so many. I don't know. I'm guessing... Uh-oh, we broke that one. Look, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, that one had a little spider on it. But yes, y'all excuse my garden. It's a work in progress right now. I haven't put anything in it. I haven't, I haven't done anything to it. But I bought these blueberry bushes and I didn't want I didn't want them to die, so I went ahead and repot it. I'll do another video, another garden tour of my garden before it's planted out. I've got lots of plans for it for this year. 
can't wait for y'all to join me later